You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop. Thanks for stopping by. It is time for the next set of Happy Meal toys for 2017. I'm guessing they are going to try and sneak in one more set this year, but this round actually came out with Hello Kitty and Pokemon. Now, I'm about to show you all eight toys, but first, let's check out this Happy Meal box. All right, here we go. This is the Pokemon side. You've got Pokemon Sun and Pokemon Moon there. Scan your Happy Meal toy to unlock a surprise. Now, I did want to talk about pronunciations because a lot of people say Pokemon, and some people say Pokemon and Pokemon, all different ways to say it. So I, did, I had to do some research on this, and then, oh yeah, here is the smiley side. So I went to go check out some of the toys, just to see, all right, well, how do you pronounce? Oh, this is the Hello Sanrio side. Now these toys will come up probably the following day, and then, hey parents, Honest Kids Organic Apple Juice Drink, and that's what they're showing there. So let's just look at the bottom, we'll know what the next toy is. The next toy, ah, so they're gonna have a Christmas set. Up next, the Holiday Express, and it looks like they have train tracks with train going around the circle. Oh, so where was I? All right, so as I go through the toys, I'll kind of discuss a little bit more because those pronunciations, I gotta tell you, you go to four different videos, everybody says it different, and then everybody in the comments says, no, this is how you say it, no, this is how you say it. And by the time you're done, you have five different ways of saying the same name. So let me come back now with number two. I think we could all agree on the name of this one. All right, toy number one. I think we could all agree on this one. Everybody pronounces this that I know, Pikachu. Does anybody say Pikachu? I don't know. We will find out in the comments. This is number one. They also have a card in this toy line coming out. Really nice. Let's get the bag open. So let's see if any of them do anything, if they're just all figures. Ooh, there's an on-off button here. Okay, let's take a look before we press it. Ooh, how do you stand? Okay, ears don't... Oh, ears turn just a little bit, but that doesn't look like they're supposed to. I'm putting pressure on them. Okay, so maybe he's got to be like that. I don't know. Very interesting. I can't get him to stand. Turn him on, and then paint it forward push uh, show him downward it looks like he lights up his eyes and there's something that lights up on your tabletop come on why don't you stand okay nobody say anything ah there we go don't move a muscle here i'll give you a close-up while i'm checking out these other toys so yeah what was i saying i was saying yeah i went to Kind of get a little bit of insight on some of the names. And then there's some really nice videos where people give you the pronunciations and then in the comments, I don't pronounce it that way. And then the next person, no, you pronounce it this way. So by the time you're done, like I said, you got all these different ways to pronounce it. So I've given up. I think it's basically what you remember as a kid, what you grew up on, what you think it should say or how it's pronounced. All right, so here is the card. So it doesn't look like the card naturally matches the actual toy that you're getting. So they're random. All right, so there could be a lot more cards than figures in this line. I have no idea. All right, there's the card. Let's see. Let's turn them on. And then he's like, is it a tail strike when he does that? Okay, oh, yeah, okay, I see. Oh, and it does work. All right, so how am I going to show that to you? Not easily. Let's see if I can turn down some of the basic lighting here show it on the tabletop come on eyeballs there it is see it okay so both his cheeks are lighting up and then he's putting a red light hits the tabletop that's pretty neat the way that does that how between the two it's actually coming out as his little bolt Okay, all right, so that is number one. I got to get the lighting back where I need it. Mm, close. All right, so I'll probably take a break after a few toys to kind of gather things up. Number two, all right, here was one that, oh, by the way, here's his little cardboard disc, circle disc, heavy paper disc, whatever you want to call it. Okay, so number two. 
a sea lion. That's what I read. Now I've heard people pronounce this poplio or poplio. And I'm sure you're going to say in the comments, that's not how you pronounce it. But we'll see. I'm curious to see. Me personally, and I've always said this, is that if someone pronounces something wrong and it's your hobby, the idea is not to belittle them. And you get a lot of belittling in the comments. And that, that's all that does is turn people off from something they may enjoy. So for me, as a collector, I never want to do that to people. All right, so there's his little disc, and he looks like a water toy. All right, so I'm gonna have to get some water. I'll do that. And then look how it shipped to me, it got all bent up. Who wants a bent up card? No good. That just ruined the card for me. Okay. And then there is the card. I'm not gonna even try to pronounce this. Only because I'll let you decide how you want to pronounce it and what you remember as a kid or a young adult or adult, depending on what level of collector you are. But it's pretty neat, the coloring in that one. I'll show these all again one more time. But let me grab some water and we'll test them out. All right, so I have the paperwork out of the way. And then as you can see, you pull this out. I have not done it yet. A little mouth here has an opening and then that's where it shoots out of. I thought first it would be out of the nose, but it's not. So then you put mouth inside the bowl. Let me get a good pump there. All right, and then squirt. Ah, and it's, it's very much like a random looking, whoosh, like a spit almost, as opposed to a, squirt, a squirt from a squirt gun. It is weird because you have to almost hold it up to get it to squirt out like that. Okay, it's hard to aim. That's why I thought the nose, but maybe not. And now my toy is all wet, but that's okay. Well, it looks like you want to hold it that way. Tail got turned. Oh, I hit it. There, you can kind of see the bubble action there. All right, very cool. I hate to break here, but I do need to wipe the table. Okay, toy number three. Now I have this as Lunala, but I've seen Lunala, depending on who's saying it, so let's not get too worked up here, everybody, on that. Okay, here we go. Now, that was cool. We had a lighting toy, a water toy, and this, I don't know, looks very interesting. What does it do? Ooh, there's pieces. All right, so you connect the two arms, turn it on, and the chest lights up. Now, interesting, the other two had sealed bags. This one does not. Crab roller. Okay. Punch crab hammer. I know a lot of people collect these cards, so do they collect the McDonald's versions of the cards? I don't know. I'm sure they do. Wouldn't you, if you were a collector, wouldn't you collect some of everything? All right, so number one. Okay, so they have it going this way. I have to check that it's not... This way, the rounded side is up based on the picture, but is this the back? This is the back, okay, so they have it. They're showing you to do it this way so you can see how this clips in. Okay, and then this goes in this way. There we go, and now from the front, rounded, pointed. Here's a little tag that goes with it, and then there's something that lights up. Let's just see, press the button. Ooh, lights up in blue. See that? Nice toys, I have to say. Pretty good detail, quality. So the back lights up too, see that? I always give you a second look at all the toys, so if I miss something of the detail, then I kind of present them all one more time at the end. All right, that is number three. Let's see what we have here for number four. Okay, let's move this out of the way. Let's move into number four toy. Okay, so I've seen this one a couple ways. I've seen Sol Galeo or Sol Galeo, like Leo the tiger, but I'm not sure. It looks cool. It looks like a nice sized toy. Look at that. 
Very neat. Let me give you a nice close-up of that. And then another light-up toy. So it looks like we're having a bunch of light-up toys. And here's my card and my little tag with this one. Okay, and then here's the card. Cutie Fly. I do like the metallic foil on these. I'm not going to flip around. I flipped all the ones around and they were the same. Oh, so his tail. So there's a switch on his bottom. And then something with his tail. It looks like you pull. Yeah, push the tail down. There you go. You just push it down. See him light up? Okay. Like I said, a nice size. Tail also turns, by the way. I don't know if that was intention, but it does. Legs and everything else. There's very little moving parts on these. They are more just a solid figure. Okay, that is toy number four. Toy number five. Now I have this as lit, lit, litten, or litten. L I T T E N, lit in. But more like litten or litten. I'm not sure. And it's okay, you don't have to put the pronunciations in the comments because we're going to get a bunch of people doing different things and hopefully no arguing that's what I'm looking for here no arguing let's not argue about it okay so this looks like it's a launcher I'm just gonna do it without looking at the instructions I'm breaking my normal rules here which oh, it goes this way how far oh it locks in oh it shoots pretty good too Whew. nice let's learn about lit Litten. There's a little disc, okay. Now this one had everything wrapped in one bag. See how, I've said this before, I'm pretty sure these all come from different factories so that if something did happen to one factory, they have backups from other factories. Because why would they all be put together differently unless there were different groups putting them together? Okay, one, two, three, we did that. Let's just see, let's get a distance measurement here. Uh, it kind of feels kind of funny jamming that in there like <coughs> you want to choke, but it shoots really good. I'm going to give you a close-up of this, this one. Okay, oh, this one actually matches the actual toy. I think that was the first one, wasn't it? All right. Once I put them on my spinny table, you'll get another complete look. I need to move on. Tail does turn on this one. Little circles on its feet. Okay, that is number five. Need to make some room here. Let's get number six in here. I'm trying not to stop because I've already stopped twice. Okay, number six. Now I've seen this one as Rollet. That one's kind of like how you see it, Rollet. Now some people may say roll it, I don't know. This is like the previous one. Hmm. So five and six, one and two were kind of the same packaging. Three and four were kind of the same packaging. Five and six are kind of the same packaging. There's something to this. So I'm going to I'm going to figure it out one day. Ooh, a wind-up. Is it a wind-up? Oh, yes. Very cool. And there is the card. All bent. So that's going to happen when you have to, when you get these online from sellers. There's detail under its wing too. We're gonna hop along. Come on back. It's actually moving pretty good. 
His arms almost look rubbery, don't they? I was thinking, that's why I touch them. Like, huh, they kind of look rubbery the way they bounce, but they're not. They're just kind of very free moving. And then this back tail, I don't know, is it moving back there? Let's see if it moves. No. I can wind it up more, but I need to move on to the next toy. Okay, I'm just gonna go for it. I'm gonna leave it right here. The number seven toy. I have this one as grubbin. Lots of grub from the grubbin. I'm, I put a little note that this one's a larva. Maybe being a grub, that makes sense. Is he a pullback? He is right away. You can kind of see he does something. Oh, well, that's pretty cool. I just like the coloring on all of these. Now, how accurate are they? That's another thing, the coloring. There's the instructions. We're back to this way of packing now. Okay, I think this is... Uh, Matches one of the other ones we had, doesn't it? The Poplio? Okay. Or Poplio. I just can't get over it. I don't know why. I guess... You just see so much of that on YouTube. Negativity. Negativity in the comments. Mind you, I've been doing this for seven plus years. It doesn't bother me. Yeah, I think it bothers me more when I see other... Ooh, he goes backwards. Especially younger kids trying to do things and then someone really knocking them down. They don't take it as well as... I'll say some adults. Very neat. So back and forth, it's got some kind of switch mechanism in it. I'm going to call that my favorite one so far. I just like it. Oh, there's something going on with that wheel, so that, let's see. Yeah, so that's what's doing it. And this is set on a slight angle, so that's why you're getting a circle. It's like a three-point turn toy. Okay, number eight. Last but not least. Okay, so this is Young Goose. Now I've heard it a couple different ways. I'm just going to leave it with that. I'm really happy with these toys. Now I am not a Pokemon collector by any stretch of the imagination. But I like toys and I've checked out so many Happy Meal toys. Tons and tons of them from all different years, so I can say yes, these are really nice. Where is my my disc? <gasps> can you believe it? It's missing. That's never happened to me before. What's going on? Am I seeing things? Alright. And my instructions. That's weird. So he looks like when you roll him, his teeth are chomping. Got a really cool top section with that yellow. And then, yeah, you, you roll it and his jaws go up and down. Let me give you a nice straight shot on that. That's interesting. I've never seen that before. That is cool. Not my favorite, but cool. All right, let me get them all on my spinner and we'll kind of... Give him one more look as they spin around. Yeah, he's cool. Okay, here we go. This is the complete collection now. I would say overall, a pretty nice set. I did figure out later that this one stood up on its own. I will show you a close-up of that one in just a second. Or actually, I'll turn the camera down in just a second. I wanted to give you a another kind of look top-down at all the different toys in this series and when I come back around I want to check out the cards because I'm sure you're all much more knowledgeable than me on the cards which is the best card maybe you can tell me here I'll give you a nice close-up of each one you can see the numbers there was an HP 80 in here I think 
So I don't know if that's the main. They say basic, basic, basic HP 80. So they're all basics, it looks like. There's an HP 70. And then I had the two duplicates, these two here. So there must be more cards in this set. I wonder what the total number of cards are. And then this was the one, remember, it didn't have the little disc or the instructions with it. With it. So now let me give you like a front shot so you can see all of them a little bit better. All right, so what do you think? What is your favorite? That one is the coolest as regards to how it stands up. It's just pretty neat. I'm going to have to go. I'll show you with the number seven toy as my favorite. I really like the way this one moves with the three-point turn. Now, I've seen that before in other Happy Meal toys, so I don't think that's new, but I just kind of like that one. All right, that is the complete set. So I hope you enjoyed me showing you all the toys. I had fun showing them to you. And if you're a Pokemon fan, let me know what your favorite is. Let me know about the cards. And as always, thanks for watching and supporting the channel. Now look in that description, because I always put a link there to a playlist where you can see other Happy Meal toys. i got two giant playlists for you to check out. And thanks for watching, everybody. Later! Alright, one more time around. If you're looking for the item you just saw in the video, click here. Watch more videos by clicking here. Don't forget to share on social media and give a thumbs up. Hey, LPS Dave. What's up, Butch? Make sure they don't forget to subscribe. Oh, yeah. Please click here to subscribe to Lucky Penny Shop. And always remember when you see a lucky penny, pick it up.